what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so while this isn't official at all it almost seems inevitable that Kyrie irving will eventually be a laker whether it's through a trade or if he signs their next off season so a lot of people have been asking me to do this and at first i was going to do this till it actually happened but since i'm just tired of waiting we're going to go ahead and do it anyway so today of course going to be doing a Kyrie irving los angeles lakers rebuild today before we get into today's video guys make sure you smash the like button of course subscribe if you're new to the channel as we are trying to approach 30,000 subs as soon as possible your guys support has been amazing lately so thank you guys so much for that and i have no doubt you'll continue to to show me that support but regardless if we take a look at the trade i just made it as simple as possible because this is what the rumor trade has been said russell westbrook tht uh two first one first whatever it may be i know it's like 2027 2029 is the picks that the lakers can trade but unfortunately you can't go out that far and then Kyrie Irving and Joe Harris are going back to uh, the Lakers. And then the Nets are getting Westbrook THC in a first. So, yeah, that is the simplest trade that's been kind of discussed. And uh, I saw a report yesterday that Sean Marks and uh, uh, Rob Polinka, if I can think of his damn name, are going to talk in Summer League. And if uh, they can't figure anything out, then Rob Polinka is going to pivot to Eric Gordon and Buddy Heald. So maybe we end up doing an Eric Gordon, Buddy Heald, Lakers rebuild later on. So we'll see though. Maybe this becomes official today and the timing is great. Maybe not. Who knows? So this is what your Lakers team would look like after trading for Kyrie Irving if that was the trade package. So you have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, Thomas Bryant. You have Austin Reeves. You have Lonnie Walker. You have Kendrick Nunn. You have Joe Harris, who you just got in the trade as well. Stanley Johnson, Juan Toscano, Damian Jones, Winion Gabriel, Max Christie, and Scotty Pippen Jr. on a two-way contract. So not too shabby. Pretty interesting roster. Of course, we have Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. That sounds very, very intriguing. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how we want to roll this rotation out. So we got Westbrook, or not Westbrook anymore. It's Kyrie Irving, Kendrick Nunn as the backup. You have Austin Reeves, who honestly, we'll see if Lonnie Walker should start over him. LeBron James, Joe Harris. And Stanley Johnson and Anthony Davis, Thomas Bryant. So I don't know exactly how they'll roll out the rotation. I assume it might be like, I don't know if they would start Thomas Bryant with Anthony Davis. I mean, Thomas Bryant can space the floor a little bit. So maybe that's an idea. So we could technically, now that Westbrook is gone, the spacing will be a little bit better. So you could have, uh, you know, like I said, Anthony Davis at the power four spot potentially because he does like playing the four. Or what we could do is we could also move LeBron James to the power four, which I kind of like the idea of more for this video just because I don't know if I really want to start Thomas Bryant to be honest with you i guess we could and that'd be fine but I, I i wouldn't mind joe harris being like a starter so we move lebron james to power 40 actually goes up so it says power forward slash center but of course we're gonna have him like probably like power forward slash point guard low key to be honest with you uh that's kind of just what he is so power forward slash point guard is really what lebron james is going to be for us then uh center and uh, power forward point guard shooting guard Thomas bryant center power forward so yeah i think i'm uh content with that so let's go ahead and go straight to player progression i imagine it's going to be a little wonky, but you got Davis and Kyrie both going down, which isn't great. But they both should still be solid this year. I don't even know how long this video is going to be because regression is going to be huge in this game, obviously, or in this simulation, I should say. Like LeBron and Andy Davis are going to go down overall. That's just how 2K is. And old rosters are really not favored by 2K. The last couple of Lakers rebuilds I've done have not gone so well. They just haven't. They really have not. We have missed the playoffs or we got eliminated round one. Things just don't go very well. But hopefully that changes today. So Darvin Ham the head coach of this Lakers team. So Kyrie Irving, Lonnie Walker, Joe Harris as the starting small forward, space to the floor, uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and you got Thomas Bryant off the bench, Austin Reeves, Kendrick Nunn, and then I the guess they signed Jeremy Lamb for us, which I guess is fine. So if he wants to be in the rotation, that's totally okay with me. Uh, Proficiency-wise, we are sitting at a three and a half balance of, under Darvin Ham. So as far as, uh, I guess we could be seven seconds, four star. So I guess we should move it to that. But as far as other trades are concerned that we can make, uh, we are going to re-sign Kyrie Irving in the offseason. And then Joe Harris's salary definitely becomes intriguing if we can try to make a trade. Obviously, you know, trying to combine assets. Like, maybe you do a three-team trade where you send Joe Harris over to uh, Indiana for, like, Buddy Heald or something like that. Because I think Buddy Heald's contract is longer than uh, Joe Harris's. I don't know if that is actually the case. I could be wrong. Yeah, Buddy, I guess it's the same link. So... I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess they could try to get Buddy Heald as well in a three-team trade, but it'd be tough to pull off. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and summit this season with the team as constructed, and then uh, we'll get in the offseason and, of course, make some more moves, but hoping this year that we actually end up uh, winning a championship because this team with Kyrie, Anthony Davis, LeBron James should be pretty good, but we'll see what 2K thinks. So at the end of the season, Luka Doncic does win MVP. Chet is your rookie of the year. Harden, six man, Giannis Fens a player. Shingun most approved. Emily Green, coach of the year. Alexander Pennell is your executive. So all here's your all-be first team with Luka. 
Melo LeBron does make it, which is in very, very interesting because unfortunately for us, not a great year. I'm not surprised. Like I said, at last couple Lakers rebuilds I've done, they've not gone so well. So uh, we'll have to see where we went wrong. All NBA second team and all NBA third team, Anthony Davis. So we have two all NBA team members, but yet we are in the playing tournament. So that is kind of a problem, I would say. So Anthony Davis also makes all defense first team. So yeah, we ended up as a ninth seed in the Western Conference and we get to play the LA team, the other LA, LA team, which I think is kind of mind boggling that both these teams are even here at this point, but we got to try to get into the playoffs. So 26 from LeBron James, 22 from Kyrie Irving, and then 22 from Anthony Davis. So not too bad there. 10 uh, from Thomas Bryant off the bench and six rebounds uh, block. And then he shot 37% from three. So yeah, definitely earned his way. Then Lonnie Walker, nine points. Eight from Joe Harris, seven from Kendrick Nunn, seven from Austin Reeves. So not too shabby, but obviously uh, we don't want to be a team that's not in the playoffs. I mean, that is not really where we're trying to be right now. So it looks like Lonnie Walker is cold at the moment. So maybe we run an eight man rotation instead. Uh, they want to have Lonnie Walker come off the bench and we run an eight man rotation, I guess, because I do want to win. I do want to get into the playoffs because, you know, like I said, the last couple of Lakers, Lakers rebuilds I've done have not gone well at all. So I'm looking to change that luck today. I even wore a Lakers shirt for this video. So hopefully we can beat this other LA team called the Clippers and we can uh, get to the playoffs. So it's looking good so far. And we do end up beating the Clippers by 40. So LeBron James drops 38. I mean, as long as we get the A seed, I feel pretty decent about maybe upsetting the Pelicans. We'll see, though. We get to play the Portland Trailblazers now. Man, so so unfortunate last night. Shane Sharp played like five minutes man it's wrong so unfortunately apparently hurt his shoulder so he looked good for a second like that fadeaway he hit was pretty nasty but i mean you really can't judge it off one shot right so hopefully he plays saturday but we'll see all right here we go game uh, or i guess this is not a game i mean technically it is a game seven one game elimination in portland can we get to the playoffs let's get it let's see what happens and it's looking good so far, but that doesn't mean anything. They take the lead back, and it looks like they are going to eliminate us. So we do not even make the playoffs. You're number one with Kyrie, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James. That's what 2K thinks about this roster. So into the play-in tournament, we went, and into the play-in tournament, we went out. So we got New Orleans and Memphis, Minnesota, Sacramento, and we got Memphis going all the way to sweep the 76ers in four. So... Player retirements. Got to make sure LeBron's, yeah. LeBron, you cannot retire. So I basically have one more year with LeBron. So that's great. So basically one more season to put this all together, basically, is where we're at right now. So we got Kyle Lowry retiring. Uh, Al Horford's retiring. A lot of guys, a lot of interesting players retiring here. So to the draft lottery, lottery we go. Obviously, we do not have our pick this year, I don't believe. If we do, that'd be a game changer. We're pretty sure it's obviously going to go to the Pelicans. And it does. So that makes sense. Do we get the Pelicans pick at all? Maybe not. Probably not, actually, right? So we don't have a pick at all in this draft because of the Anthony Davis trade, as we know. So uh, I'm going to fill out this coaching staff and we got to make a move, man, because we literally have one more year with LeBron James and, or he's going to retire again. I wasn't planning on making this like a long term rebuild, obviously, like a Kyrie Irving, you know, Anthony Davis, LeBron James trio is kind of a short term thing for this video. So this this offseason has to be very, very good. Joe Harris's money is going to have to be used. Uh, nicely and then Kendrick Nunn's money is gonna have to be combined in there so we need a player that's gonna push this team over the top now who is that gonna be no idea do we even have a uh, second round pick or actually we do have a first round pick it's the 29th overall pick so actually comes in handy so wait we go ahead and make a trade now I think we do so we should count on LeBron James and I mean we should really be looking at any player to be honest with you because we can move the rotation around however we need to so I just want to make sure we find somebody who matches this salary and we get somebody that's going to make sense here. That's going to help out the team because we can't afford to not be in the playoffs for another year. Like, obviously, Devin Booker would be awesome, but that's just going to be tough to pull off. Uh, you got Shea on a rebuilding roster, Dame selling, and then Johnny, you know, Beal. I mean, I think Beal's sour would be hard to match. We can only find someone who's making like around 24 ish a million, 24 a, year, a million a year, I believe. So let's go find 24 like someone making around 25 24 million a year i believe is what we can match up to so john morant not gonna happen uh, a little unrealistic there we got lonzo ball we could bring him back to the lakers uh scotty barnes anthony edwards uh jared allen that could be interesting the john T. murray miles bridges uh sabonis no thank you chris middleton wiggins i would you know wiggins would be solid Malcolm Brogdon, Wendell Carter, uh, OG Nanobi, and Kyle Kuzma, Capella, Sadiq Bay. Honestly, at this point, it, it would be very weird, but I, I feel like I want to try to go for Lonzo Ball and bring him back to the Lakers. I don't know why. It's just, 
I don't even. I guess Lonzo would play the two if we had him here. I mean, how tall is Lonzo anyway? I don't even. Remember. He's six six. So technically, he could do that for us. He's gotten better. You know what? I'm gonna go for Lonzo. I'm gonna bring Lonzo back to the Lakers. I. I. I mean, it's such a weird fit. But at this point, we need the best player we can possibly get to make the playoffs. I'm gonna try to convince the Bulls to give me the Lonzo ball here. So of course, this trade is gonna start with Joe Harris and a first round pick for Lonzo. That's probably not gonna get it done, obviously. And then uh, do we have to throw like Kendrick Nunn in here as well to sweeten the offer? Not gonna happen. And then I'll throw my 2027 pick that should have been the trade. And they do not agree. So getting Lonzo is gonna be kind of tough. Throw my second round pick and then I'll throw my other second round pick. And they do not agree. Is there anything else? Is Max Christie someone I could throw in this trade? Or Damian Jones. One of them's probably gonna have to be in the trade. Actually, it might not be able to. Well, let's remove Kendrick Nunn and let's throw. Let's say we threw Max or Damian Jones and Max Christie in this trade. I mean, we're trying to make a big move here. They would acquire 53K more than allowed. Holy moly. It's like literally Dale and Terry's probably not gonna be able to throw it in the trade. Okay. So what if we got rid of Damian Jones, I guess, and then threw a second? Christy, does that move the needle at all? It's not going to move the needle, is it? Okay. Do I get desperate and throw this other first? I think I do. All this for Lonzo. They don't agree. Okay. It was worth a shot. We don't. We can't get Lonzo, though. That was the guy I was going to go for, obviously. Not going to happen. We still need somebody, man. We still need somebody, though. Nikola Vucevic, do we go for him? I don't know, man. And then LeBron James is free agent this offseason. We got to resign him, obviously, as well. So, Laurie Markinen, I mean, got Brandon Clark, Rozier. I mean, Terry Rozier, I guess, could be solid. He would be somebody that would make sense. Jonathan Isaac. They're bringing a good defender in like Jonathan Isaac to, you know, change everything for us. I don't know. Do it. He might be easy to get. If we got Jonathan Isaac for like Joe Harris, I don't know if Jonathan Isaac really moves the needle in, you know, in real life, but in 2K, I think he would. So, Joe Harris in a first round pick for Jonathan Isaac. They don't agree to that. Okay. What if I threw in Damian Jones? They don't agree throw in my second round pick and they agree so Jonathan Isaac's the new addition so don't know how much of a difference that's going to make but maybe that makes all the difference in the world he'll he, he you know wins defensive play of the year all the time so hopefully that helps us out Jonathan Isaac welcome to the Lakers and now it's time to resign everybody so used all of our draft capital to get Jonathan Isaac player options none and qualifying offers Austin Reeves Wendy and Gabriel I mean we'll offer all them because we need uh roster spots and LeBron James and Kyrie Irving I guess we don't have Kyrie Irving's bird rights which uh doesn't bode well for us, but hopefully we can still get him back. So I do want Kyrie Irving on the Lakers, obviously. And then LeBron James, I do want back. So one offer in Le uh, Kyrie Irving, and then we need to get an offer on LeBron James. Uh, so we're going to give him a no trade clause to entice him a little bit. So hopefully that gives us the edge there. So I'm assuming we can sign both of them, hopefully. And we can. So we get Kyrie Irving and LeBron James back. And now we can fill out the rotation uh, as easy as we can. So it's Kyrie Irving, Kendrick Nunn, and then you have Max Christie at the two right now. You have no small 40. You have Jonathan Isaac, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. So yeah, this team is going to get very, very thin, very fast. So LeBron James is going to move back to small forward probably. So LeBron James is going to be back to being the small forward of the roster. So we only have a backup point guard and we don't even have a starting shooting guard. So yeah, the bench is going to be poverty. I mean, LeBron, we could get like uh, Patch Beverly. I know KCP is out here as well. I mean, familiar piece familiar face Contavious Caldwell Pope I mean obviously would fit here nicely Raul Neto and then you got like uh Evan Fournier Will Barton Jeremy Lamb Danilo Gallinari Stanley Johnson is here uh so I mean we got to get something here so I think I'll probably go for like a will the thrill bring him off the bench a little bit as well we just need to get best pieces available at this point Raul Neto I guess we can go for uh what else we got we got Alec Burks Bledsoe we need some bigs Lamb, Danilo Gallinari, if he doesn't want to go down overall too much. I wouldn't mind him in LA. So yeah, this is where it gets tough. Alex Lynn, Hassan Whiteside favors. I'll go ahead and give Alex Lynn a deal, I guess. I mean, yeah, this is tough, man. So Lonnie Walker, I guess we can bring back. We're going to definitely do that. So Lonnie Walker, I mean, we got to get as best as we can be. So Fournier, Jeremy Lamb, and then Jamichael Green, Hassan Whites. Okay, so we have Ronald Neto, Kendrick Dunn. We have Will Barton, Lonnie Walker. You have KCP, LeBron James. Gallinari, Jonathan Isaac, uh, Anthony Davis, Alex Lynn. So yeah, it's probably gonna go down overall. Other side I'm gonna make is white side, just in case. And uh, we got Reeves. The player progression is gonna be LeBron James down three or down two, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, Jonathan Isaac, Lonnie Walker, KCP is down. Uh, so the overalls overall aren't that bad. Uh, but this is our last chance. So did I put together a good enough roster to get this team into the playoffs at the very least? Obviously. We brought in Jonathan Isaac, and it's not the sexiest move in the world, but I feel like at least in 2K, 
Jonathan Isaac should help us out. He, you know, wins defense player of the year a lot. So that's kind of what I'm banking on him being just a absolute stud. So this is what our rotation is going to look like. It's going to be Kyrie Irving. They want to start Austin Reeves, LeBron James, Jonathan Isaac, Anthony Davis, Lonnie Walker, KCP, Raul Neto, and then Kendrick Nunn. I'm going to run a nine-man rotation this year. And then uh, Austin Reeves, I guess, is the starter. Proficiency, we're sitting at a four-star seven seconds. So let's go ahead and see what this team's going to do this season. LeBron James is going to retire on us. So hopefully, 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 uh, this ends up being a good thing. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to run it one more year. And uh, hopefully this team is a good team. Because if not, it's going to be very, very unfortunate. So at the end of the season, Nicole Jokic is your MVP. Nick Smith wins rookie of the year on the Spurs. You got James Harden, six man again. Giannis Fence player. THC most proved in Brooklyn. So shout out to THC for uh, being good over there, I guess. And Steve Kerr, coach of the year. Brandon Harrison is your executive. So here's your all first team. Luka, Steph, Giannis, Zion, and Jokic. All NBA second team, you got Trey Young, LaMelo, Taylor, LeBron, James, Anthony Davis, both make all NBA second team. And here's your all NBA third team. All defensive first team, Anthony Davis again. We try to get uh, Lonzo, but we got Jonathan Isaac. So that's why I kind of brought him over here to be kind of like a really good player for the defensive side of the ball. Uh, we had to get best player available to make this simulation better for us. And it was a little bit better. We got the fifth seed in the West. So we'll take that over the alternative of missing the playoffs year after year. So Anthony Davis dropped 25, 24 from LeBron James and 22 from Kyrie Irving. So the simulation is just not friendly to 2K whatsoever. And I honestly think it's because how old LeBron James is. Like 2K does not like old rotations. They just don't. It just doesn't work out for you most of the time. But thankfully, we got the fifth seed. I think that Jonathan Isaac addition really helped out a lot obviously him being really good on the de defense side of the ball definitely helped and then obviously you still have Kyrie, lebron and ad doing their thing so i mean we get the thunder in round one so honestly would not be surprised we just get bounced out in round one and that's the end of the video but i guess we could keep going technically jeremy grant is back with the thunder which is interesting this time it's with uh shay and josh giddy and then chet so yeah i'm not sure how well this is going to go for us but we'll see what happens game one we do win 112 to 97. So good start. 30 and 12 from AD, 22 and 11 from Kyrie, and then 20 and 10 from Austin Reeves. Game two, we are up two to zero. So, so far, so good. Chad drops 28. Maybe we got, uh, you know, John and Isaac being a pesk on the defensive end, guarding Shea, maybe. I don't, I don't know what's going on. We're up two to zero so far. Game three, we're up three to zero. We're about to upset the Thunder. I will take it if we can. 31 and 29. If we sweep the Thunder. Okay, they win game one. Oh, this is going to be a 3 -0. Oh, no, we beat them five. Okay, I was about to say, this is about to be a 3-0 comeback, isn't it? So we finally get to the playoffs, and not only do we get to the playoffs, we get out of round one. We'll take that. And now we get the Warriors. So we got a LeBron James versus Stephen Curry series once again. So Steph, Jordan Poole, Wiggins, Kamenga, Wiseman, Clay, Kavon Looney, Moses Moody, Draymond Green, Dante DiVincenzo, and Cody Zeller. So honestly, man, this is going to be tough. I don't know if we beat the Warriors here, but we'll go game by game like usual. So game one. We drop down 1-0. to They beat us by 20. Kyrie Irving drops 32. It does not matter. So Kyrie and LeBron James once again playing the Warriors. Just realize that. With Aiden Davis this time. No longer Kevin Love. Game 2. Down 2-0. to zero, And we get absolutely demolished. Game 3. We actually win. Okay. 33. Can we win game 4? Yes, we can. Actually, we even it up. Okay. So this is a game 5 in San Fran. So this could be uh, very big. So here we go. Can we win game 5 and push all momentum back to us as we would take them to game 6 to LA? Can we get it? It's a very close game. And it looks like they're going to take care of business game five. Okay, so we got to force a game seven. Probably going to run an eight-man rotation for this game seven just because I think we're going to need it. So here we go. Eight-man rotation for this uh, game six, I should say, to force a game seven. So here we go. Game six in LA. Can we get it done and force a game seven back to San Fran? It's looking good so far. It looks like we take a gigantic lead. Wait, they can come right back. But they are close. We keep them out of reach. Oh, no. It's so close. We did it. Okay. So we do beat them in game six. Oh, I don't want to play it. Okay. I was lying to look at the box score for game six. So game six, beat them by five. Kyrie drops 34, 26, 28. Okay. That was very close. But uh, Jordan Poole dropped 29, 28, and 26. We are so lucky to escape that game with a victory. But here we go. Game seven in San Fran. LeBron James legacy on the line. Andy Davis legacy on the line. Kyrie Irving legacy on the line. Steph's legacy is on. The, what's going to happen here? Looks. In, oh, wait. We took the lead in the third quarter. They take it back. We take it back in the fourth quarter. It's a seven-point game with 55 seconds left. And we beat the Warriors in seven, 32 and 15 from Anthony Davis, 19 and 16 and nine from LeBron James. And we are headed to the Western Conference Finals. We beat the Warriors in seven. Wow. How lucky is that? Beat them by four. Seven Curry drops 29, 26 from Clay, but we still escape with a victory. 
what an absolute dub and now we get to play the pelicans we have daniel cj ingram zion valanchunas herbert jones trey murphy kyra lewis and jose alvarado so it's a zion versus lebron james uh play or Western Conference Finals. I don't know why. I was about to say playing tournament. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Regardless, game one, we start off one to zero. Beat them by uh, 14. We'll take that. 30 and 14, 22. So things are going well for us. Game two, they even it up. They beat us by four. It is the Pelicans for crying out loud. So I'm not sure we're going to win this, but you never know. Game three, they take the lead and they win three to one. And it looks like our uh, parade might be coming to an end here. Unless we can force a game seven. And then things could change drastically, but we got to win game by game here. So let's not focus on game seven. Let's focus on this one. We escape with a victory. We do. Very close game. We escape. Uh, honestly, man, winning this game five at home, and then we force a game seven with the backs, their backs against the wall. Momentum is in our hands if we force this game seven. Come on, man. We could do this. We could definitely do this. LeBron James, you've been here before. Do it for the city of Cleveland, even though you're not in Cleveland anymore. And we're going to come up short. 121 to 125. We lose. In the Western Conference Finals after forcing a game six. Then we have the Pelicans going on to win the championship over the Atlanta Hawks in six games. So at the end of the day, a big three of LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Anthony Davis only get so far. And that is the Western Conference Finals. I already know LeBron James is going to retire. So going forward with this roster is just a disaster. Honestly, I don't even know what the future is going to look like with Kyrie Irving and then LeBron James obviously wants to play with his son one day so I don't know if you give Kyrie Irving like a four-year deal to return to LA but for the most part I wanted to do, the, to do this two-year experiment with the Lakers to try to get them as good as possible you know quickly because obviously LeBron James window is only so open and uh our uh, peak was Western Conference Finals which is fine because that's uh better than previous videos where I've literally been eliminated in round one or in the playing tournament so I'll take that dub today for this video but Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what your guys' overall thoughts are on Kyrie Irving to the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't want to keep it going because, like I said, uh, Andy Davis and Kyrie Irving are only getting older and LeBron James is going to retire. So we're going to be bad again. So what's the point of simulating another year? I, I don't see the point of that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Drop a like if you did. This is Crushables. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.